Lads, thanks for joining us up here. Uh, a cold lag, said this to Kirky, but I would probably use the word madness to describe that, particularly the second half. But what do you think of the performances today? I thought the boys dug in well, considering the situation and what's been going on in the past few weeks. But it was a mad game. We could have went either way. The team had a few chances, each team. So a point was probably deserved both sides, I'd say. It's obviously the first time you've um, encountered Largs, I think, so it was always going to be an interesting battle to see see who would come out on top. But to be fair, I don't think Jambo had all that much to do in the first half. And as you said, Lenny had a chance early on. I kind of felt like in the first half we maybe were the team that came out on top. We started well, then lost away in the middle. Um, they're a young, fit team. Press you a lot, but then, but then we built ourselves back into the game and ended the half well. Didn't really want to set the first half to end. Because we were on top, made a couple of chances, but um, second half could have went either way, could have swung it. It certainly was end to end, and there was there was a wee bit of madness in there. Um, Gary, we'll talk to you about the the madness element. I mean, it wasn't just you. There was, I think, the game was probably broken up by a foul every three to four minutes in there. But um, you you yourself uh, got sent off the day with a straight red. Was that a tactical decision or was that a poor decision from the referee? Um, see if I'm being brutally honest, I would say it's tactical. Guys kind of ran behind and I thought he was going to win. I know Ped's there, but I thought I thought really well they lose it in the last 10 minutes of this game. But I like, and I've got the chance to stop it. So, the ref's kind of got to give a red card to be honest with you, if I'm being honest. So. See, to be fair, that's, that's sometimes a decision that you have to make and, um, you know, we're scrapping at the moment every game to try and Aye, win. Aye, point's massive, so, but to be fair, we're, we're in a bit of a rut. Uh, since Clyde Bank, we've no won, so even the po a point's value, well, especially down home, here. Aye. We from home will take up any points, really. That's a testament, though, to the bo to the way the boys are working, and especially in the last two performances. We know that things have been up near in and around the club, but on the park, the boys have been excellent. Yeah, the boys That at a chain. Had a wee night off on Thursday, well, not a night off, but had a wee fun bit of fun night um, just to keep the minds off it, off everything that's happened this week. Bucky, you've been uh, you've been on the, the sidelines, obviously, I think due to injury yourself, but I'd imagine it's every man's dream to be to be on the sidelines with a managerial mind that is Kirky's. How's it been being pitched? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Um, I basically just go for the, I do the cones <laughs> and I get the water and I do the uh, tactics on the corners and that, but yeah, I've enjoyed it. Um, it's frustrating being on the sideline to be fair, but apart from that, I is enjoy it, just staying with the boys and that, so it's been good. Is there any length of time that you can give us on when your injury well, will be? Well, my injury happened three and a half weeks ago and it's not cleared up at all, so I'll be visiting the hospital again tomorrow to see if they can do anything for it. Right, okay, so maybe a wee while yet, then that's not good for the team. Bucky, it's been uh, difficult in the last few few weeks losing basically your entire management team, um, but also you've been battling with injuries, as we've just mentioned about yourself. How hard has it been for the boys to focus on you know, the job in hand when you know it's just not been going our way? We've spoke about it briefly, but yeah, we're just wanting to win, take each game as it comes, as I yeah, say. So Kirky's obviously been a player at the team, and you guys know him in capacity as friends as well as teammates, but he's stepped up again to take on this interim role. Can you give us an insight into how he's changed from taking himself on the pitch to off the pitch and, and give us a wee insight into his management style and the demands he puts on the boys? I think he's, um, as everybody knows, he loves football, he watches it constantly, he's right at here. Um, I think he's found it hard to even sell out, obviously, because he enjoys playing, but I think it's a chance he thought that, well, take the team and see, see get a wee bit of experience of managing. He's done well, that's one thing he does um, really, really well, I think, is get the best out of players. I think he's the type of guy who puts his arm around the sh shoulder, uh, a boy, he tells him how good they are, uh, and he's trying to build confidence up, and I think that's probably what we made the doubt, and it's probably worked the last two weeks. I think the boys have played him a bit more confidence because probably doing it, to be honest with you. He's, before the game last week, a couple of boys get a rocket uh, just to see if they can raise their game, but a couple get maybe the arm in the shoulder and told how good they were. And I think since then you can see that there's been a wee lift. I don't know if you agree or not, but yeah, absolutely. So we've got a good chance next week, lads. Um, we've got Rob Roy, and they've obviously come off the back of not some some not great performances. So, you know, the three points there are for the taking. the best of luck next week and hopefully we'll, we'll come away with all three points and lift ourselves off the bottom of that table. Yeah, cheers,